PeterQBrown.com. Here at my website, I feature video programs about my current construction and remodeling projects, as well as video content showcasing individuals and organizations involved in sustainable technologies, be it alternative energy or the responsible use of local natural resources in our area. In this video, we are having a look at an innovative residential solar heating project here in Bozeman, Montana. The folks with me are Gary Reza, the owner of the building we are looking at, Paul House, a local alternative energy expert and installer, and Dana Williams. Dana is an ecologist researching, documenting, and reporting these types of innovative local projects. Given the fluctuating costs of propane and Gary's general concern about using non-renewable fossil fuels, a solar air heating system taking advantage of this building's very large south-facing exterior wall seemed fitting. Gary has installed a thermal siphon air collector on this south-facing wall. The simple passive thermal siphon design uses only the buoyancy of heated air to create circulation through the collector. This particular heater is a design that Gary and Paul have been collaborating on for a number of years. This collector is a series of four foot wide, two by six frames attached to the side of the building. A series of vents are cut through the wall into the building at both the top and bottom of each frame. Within each two by six frame, common black aluminum window screen material is suspended. This black aluminum screen acts as an absorber to capture the heat energy from the sun. Clear corrugated polycarbonate panels cover the frame and screen to provide an airtight exterior seal. Sunlight passes through the clear panels and is absorbed by the aluminum screen. The air around the screen warms, expands, and rises, creating a convection current. The vents that pass through the wall at the top and bottom of the collector allow air from within the building to circulate through it. Cool air enters the lower vents, is heated by the absorber while it rises to the upper vents where it returns to the interior of the building, as much as 80 degrees warmer. Air circulation continues as long as the sun shines on the collector and the sun does all the work. There are no moving parts to wear out. Simple back flaps automatically prevent reverse airflow at night or on cloudy days. During summer, the higher angle of the sun means no unwanted heat is created. During winter in our sunny climate, these heaters work exceptionally well and are augmented by reflection of sunlight off the snowy ground in front of the collector. To minimize costs, Gary integrated the collector with the existing exterior walls. He was able to build this heating system using common materials that are readily available in local hardware stores. It cost him about $350 and he was able to build and install it in about three working days. With the aid of data logging equipment, Gary monitors the energy produced by the heater and concludes that the heater produces about $350 to $400 worth of heat per winter. With this simple technology, you can heat arenas, barns, workshops, garages and commercial spaces, or even your home with free heat from the sun. For more information about these heaters or to schedule a consultation with Paul House, visit choiceenergy.org. To read more details about this project, it was originally featured as the cover story in the Mother Earth News December-January 2006-2007 issue and was also featured in the October-November 2005 issue of Home Power Magazine. I hope that this program will inspire you to explore the possibilities of alternative energy technology. Thanks for taking the time to visit PeterQBrown.com.